how can you regulate? How can you send our health department environmental health folks to enforce a mask mandate that is only applied to unvaccinated persons? That's why one day after the CDC announced updated mask guidance, Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas has rescinded the mask mandate and emergency order for the city. That's right. You'll recall yesterday the CDC said that those who are fully vaccinated do not need to wear a mask in most settings, with an exception for public transportation and medical offices. But Mayor Lucas pointed out while a mandate is no longer in place for the city, schools, businesses and other organizations can still require masks if they choose. All the rules that existed for your schools, for your grocery stores, for your private businesses and enterprises can continue to exist. And importantly, they have the authority to continue to impose rules as they see fit to protect those who come within their doors. So that means now businesses have a decision to make. 41 Action News reporter Emma James is joining us live. Emma, you spoke with business owners who are quickly adapting to this change. Yeah, you guys, there is a new sign on the door here at the farmhouse restaurant in the River Market. It says masks are not required on the inside, but if you want to wear one, please feel free to do so. The owner says this is a big moment, and it's one that he wasn't expecting to come quite so soon. For customers at the farmhouse, Friday's lunch experience was a year in the making. No masks required. Just to get back to normal is, is a wonderful thing, so... It's a big step, but customers tell us they're ready for it. I mean, there's still a risk, but, you know, at least people now can can uh, take that risk on their own if they haven't gotten the vaccine. And then if they have, it's, it's time to get back to normal. So it's exciting. Farmhouse co-owner Marty Ensline says he and his employees have been vaccinated since February and feel good about the data the CDC used to update its guidance. It just shows how much progress uh, that the country has made in vaccinations to get to this point so early. We thought maybe beginning a thought by the end of the year, but here we have it today. A few blocks down, Market 3 owner Jim Andrews isn't ready to ditch masks just yet. He'll continue requiring his employees wear them. He wants his patrons to feel safe coming to his business. I understand it and I think it's the right direction to head. Um, but can we really trust people to be honest and say, yes, I have been vaccinated or no, I have not been vaccinated and I need to be wearing a mask because, you know, nobody wants to wear a mask anymore. Andrew says while he won't require customers wear masks, he'll encourage them. I really kind of think that at this point I can't mandate that they do. Uh, I just want everybody to feel safe. And I asked Market 3 owner Jim Andrews when he sees himself um, bringing back or getting rid of masks, excuse me, getting rid of masks altogether in his store. And he said that he'll probably follow along with what the big box stores are doing. And whenever they ditch masks altogether, that's likely when he'll do it too. 